appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> no takers on that one, because I'm a terrible shot. Okay. <laughs> hey, uh, in the show, we do use real guns. This is Arizona. Good guys carry guns, too. But we don't use real bullets. We use blanks. It's got a full charge of gunpowder in there. It's black powder, so we get a little smoke to go with that. Uh, but they're still dangerous. So I'm going to do a little quick demo to show you what a uh, blank can do. I'm going to wear these because uh, Mom told me to always wear protection. So I'll be wearing these. Y'all can just. <laughs> 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 Somebody likes you. Yeah, see if I can hit it this time. Nice standard trick. soda can. Watch your ears. Oh, Woo! Good shot, yeah. Good shot. I don't know if I even need to go pick that up. But I will. I didn't know it was live ammo day. Yeah, live ammo day. <laughs> Woo -hoo. Don't want to miss that. So you can see what that'll do. Even though that's a blank, if that went off fairly near to your skin or your leg, that didn't really do some serious injury to you, it would at least leave a blank expression on your face, don't you think? Ah. <laughs> yeah. All that for that joke, yeah. So, so youngins, you see guns laying around or see a bullet laying around, don't touch it. We are paid professionals here, all right? I want you guys to be safe so you can come back and see us again sometime. Now, to have one of these gunfights out here, there's really just two things that we need. We need your good guys, we need your bad guys. Now, as bad guys, you can recognize us right away because we wear these red sashes, just like that movie Tombstone, right? So you see us bad guys come out. It makes me feel war real warm inside to hear a big boo. So let's try that out. We rehearse that one time. Bad guy! <laughs> not bad, not bad, not bad. Now, the good guys. You can recognize that good guy because he wears one of those... Um, Targets! A target, that's it. Let me introduce you to our resident good guy, Marshall Terry! Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Well, tell me, I'm ready to look a little suspicious. I'm going to have to check my wanted posters and see if your mug might be on them. Don't I have you for cattle rustling? <laughs> <laughs> well, that Marshall's on duty 24-7, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, let me introduce you to my partner in crime, fellow bad guy, Percy! Yay! 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 Did you remember to come loaded? What up? <laughs> well, yeah. I put my bullet in my pistola right there, like you said. Wait, wait, wait. You brought one bullet to a gunfight? Well, you said a gunfight, so I brought a bullet. Hey, you know what? That's just positive thinking, isn't it? Yeah, how about that? Hey, how about that knife? Folks, you don't never wants to bring a knife to a gunfight. <laughs> Ask me why. Why? It just don't cut it. <laughs> <laughs> Percy, listen, that marshal's in town. I've seen him. I'm going to need you to watch my back. Because we're going to rob that bank. We're going to... What are you doing? What's I doing? Watching, Watching his back. back. That's not what I meant. I need you to get up on that balcony. Find right the back. There. I need you to keep your eyes peeled. Eyes peeled. Keep your ears open. Ears open. You see that law dog coming? I need you to give me a sign. <laughs> no, 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 no. Not like that. Give me a signal. Something I can pick up on, but keep it subtle. Mm. I know. I'll go. Law dog is coming. Law dog is coming. I pull it up. Figure it out. Yeah. Wake up. Yeah, Percy. 
You know that one bullet? Yeah. I got excited and it just went off early. <laughs> I'm going to need another one, please. What do you think, folks? Should I give him another bullet? Yes. Yeah, you came to see a gunfight, right? Yeah. All right, might as well give him a half a chance. All right, now get up on that battle. All right, you can. All right, I'll tell you, folks, they have got me working with a moron today. Oh, we go. I ain't no moron. How's that? I was Episcopalian. <laughs> get up there. Folks, I'm a little dry. If you don't mind, I'm going to go in the saloon and have, uh, throw one back there. Would you, you youngins, help me keep an eye out for that law dog, please? I'm not sure I can trust my partner. All right? Help me out, would you? All right, wake you I'm up here on the back of the neck, and I put my bullet in my gun. Yeah, put your bullet in your gun there, Barney. All right. <laughs> you count on me. You won't get by me. I'll keep my eyes peeled. Ears open. Good guy. Yeah. yeah. isn't it, folks? <laughs> you might be wondering where I found him. Walmart. <laughs> the front door. <laughs> Marshall, you're getting kind of old to be wearing that tin star, ain't you? Are you listening up and listening tight, pilgrim? You know, I tell you it out of town, you'll see how I got this bag. <laughs> uh, is it just me, or is that like the worst John Wayne you ever heard? Of? <laughs> Ooh, Marshall. Ooh, that Marshall's got some grit. Donnie, ooh, you've got me scared. I'm so scared my knees are shaking. I'm so scared I think I might have just wet myself. <laughs> Wait, go. Yeah. Not again. <laughs> that was a coffee stain. That was a coffee stain, folks, really. It says, ride my horse back from Steerbucks. And you know them the lids? They never do. You got those two? Huh? And, and the bouncing? Y'all ain't buying this, are you? Just say when. Say when. 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 Just me and you now. <laughs> Help me out here, youngins. Shouldn't that be I? <laughs> <laughs> I 
Okay, Waco. Waco. <laughs> All the way I see. <laughs> Looks like it's just me and I now. That's a laugh. That's a work. <laughs> All right, old man. Any way you want it. I got one bullet left. It's going right between your eyes. Right between your eyes. Oh, it's right about one thing. Right between your eyes. How do you like that, John? Are you a little better? Yeah. 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 Yeah, you guys bring a shovel so I can plant this guy? <laughs> <laughs> hey, nice shoot, Marshall. Real good. Michael, get up. What are you doing down there? Oh, you crushed your water bottle. Or something. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's fill out my pocket. What are you doing over there? Listen, get a nice cut to kind of spread out. And they are spread out. This guy must <laughs> a stink or something. <laughs> Uh-huh. Is that what it is? Yeah. yeah. See, all right. When did you take a bath? Nice right. buffer zone there. <laughs> a week ago. <laughs> oh, I thought we'd do like something special. Something special, that's a good idea. Like what, you going to take a bath? No, it's not September yet. <laughs> no, we ain't even close. No, I got to wait. Uh, you got to go to good day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what'd you have in mind? I thought we'd maybe have a quick draw. A quick draw. I love that. Quick draw. You and me. Let's go. Come on. No, not you and me. See, there's this fella up town. He was talking all mean and tough about you. He was, was he? Mm-hmm. He said he saw you draw your pistol and you was so slow that he could read the serial number on the barrel. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> trash talker. Yeah. A trash talker. Yeah, he Where, was. Is he here? Point him out yeah, to me. Is he I here? Don't start no trouble. Oh, I want trouble. Where is he? Point him out well, to me. I don't think he did that far right there. I thought so. <laughs> I thought That's so. That's right there. He looks a little shifty, too, with them glasses. Yeah, you think? He don't look that tough. Well, I, don't I don't know. know. He don't look Big that dude. tough. I think I could take huh? him. I think I could take Whoa, him. Whoa, hold it. Wait. Wait a I minute. Whoa. Easy. Whoa. Oh, I got him, sir. He'll be all right. Thank you very much. I think I could take him. Listen, he said you was so slow it wouldn't be a fair fight. No. So he offers me five dollars. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. It's uh, three for me and three for you. Sounds fair. What I got to do to earn my three bucks? He said all you had to do was shoot it out with that lady sitting next to him laughing at him. <laughs> five dollars right there. Hey, I don't mind shooting a lady. Bring her on out. Let's hear for our folks. Yeah! Okay, folks, that's here for our good girl, Lynn Phillips, great state of a thousand legs, Minnesota!
<laughs> and all she's got to do is pull the trigger. What well, part of that you don't comprehend? It. Where you said she's from? Minnesota. Minnesota? Yeah. I just shoot her now. Ain't you ever been to Minnesota? No. They got this canoe by shooting over there. <laughs> float, by, float by shootings? <laughs> so far as you, I get it done. Tiger practice pronto. Oh, thank you for your concern there, Marshal. Anybody got a canoe? <laughs> All right, target practice. Somebody stand up. Smart crowd, smart crowd. All right, hold up something of little or no value. Maybe that cell phone, digital camera, French poodle, 401k retirement plan, sir. They are not cooperating. Well, why don't you shoot the balloon in the saloon? Yes, I've wanted to do this all day. Yeah! Whoa, 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 whoa. He said shoot the balloon. The balloon? I thought he said shoot the buffoon in the saloon. That's for the next show. Ooh. around here. Just rattlesnakes, lizards, scorpions, few of them Chiricahua Apache Indians led by Cochise. 
And then Ed Shefflin, the prospector, showed up, and he found silver right here. You're sitting on top of one of his mines. Wasn't long before there was a lot of miners here. And after the miners came in, then the people who mined the miners got here. They'd be your saloon keeps, your gamblers, and those uh, saloon gals. Then the bad people started showing up. Cattle rustlers, horse thieves, and just killers in general. Then the really bad people showed up. The lawyers, politicians, and the bankers. There was a lot of money in this town. This was the biggest town between St. Louis and San Francisco at one time. A lot of money here, and they had a nice bank just like we got over there. Ain't that a beauty? This next little skit we're going to do is appropriately titled The Bank Robbery. It's about two idiots trying to get rich the easy way. But first, I need to find that drunk marshal. Anybody tell me where that drunk marshal is? The can of Where else would I find a drunk marshal, huh? Yeah. Marshal! Marshal, get out of here! That car coming, mother! Mother? I'm not your mother. I don't even look like your mother. Now you got something there. Are you sure? She's got a beard with her mustache. <laughs> She's a looker, too. <laughs> you look just like him. You look just like him. Yeah. What are, you, what are you doing in that cantina when you're supposed to be out here protecting your town? No, I'm supposed to be a happy hour, but you ain't interrupted. I got my deputies over here watching my town. Oh, come on back over here. Watching my town. Shirk your responsibility. Yeah. Come back over here. Listen. And look at you. You're a mess. What's wrong with me? Well, your shirt tails out. Your eyes are all red and bloodshot. <laughs> well, you ought to see them from my side. <laughs> and that gun of yours, you know, I bet you couldn't hit anything with that gun. Well, you want to bet I can hit anything I can see? Really? You? I think we'll give you a test. Going false? <laughs> no, a shooting test. Okay. Over there on that wall, there's a tin cup painted red. It's next to that sign that says, now you know, you know very well I can, can't read in a daytime. How's that? I went to night school. <laughs> you don't laugh now, you might not get another chance. <laughs> Go ahead, give it a try. You hit the whiskey bar. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Come on, you've had enough of that, Marshall. You've had enough. What do you think, folks? Should we give him a do-over? Yeah. 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 We're going to give you a do-over. Why don't you take them slow bullets of yours, head back over to your law dog house, have some coffee, maybe sober up a little bit. Some Irish coffee? Yeah, yeah, Irish coffee. That'd be great for you. Yeah. Hey, while you're gone, I'll watch your town for you. You can trust me. Should I trust this from a farmer to watch my town? No. Oh. Hey, smart crowd. <laughs> oh, you can trust me, Marshall. Say, hey, deputies, I'm going to keep an eye on this guy for me, okay? If you do anything fishy, you come and let me know. <laughs> come on out here. Well, he's not much, folks, but he is our marshal. Come give him a hand, please. Hey. With that marshal out of the way, my plan is falling right into place. <laughs> now, just to find my partner, Percy. Percy! Percy! Where have 
have you been? Somebody locked me in that there outhouse again. Really, <clears throat> how'd you get out this time? I used my old bean like you told me. You know that hole in the sink? Yeah. Where I died! <laughs> Hey, listen, while you was down there swimming around, that law dog's been kissing the bottle all day. Uh-huh. He's passed out over there against the wall. He ain't gonna give us any trouble. No, we're gonna go over there to that bank. Over to the bank. We're gonna kick in the door. Did you bring the dynamite? Yes. We're gonna put that dynamite next to the safe this time. And then, boom! Well, there ain't no pencils in that there outhouse. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I kind of had to make do. Oh. <laughs> I need the number two pencil. Oh, oh, oh. whoa. See how this is? Uh -huh. See how that is? Look at my mask. Yeah. See how that? See? Oh, it's kind of like a, like a half moon. See? How, give me a half moon, would you? Oh. <laughs> I thought we was robbing a bank. <laughs> well, I got you, half moon cowboy. Oh yeah. A little warm up here. Sash make my butt look big. Come here. Uh, no. I'm going up here. These 
folks. Hi. <laughs> oh, you don't like me, smart kid. Percy, get down here. Huh? Get down here. No, I'm going to stay up here. Percy, I want to show you what a fine job you did for us today. You do? Yeah, see ya. <laughs> Andy, I did me a good job. Is that child psychology? Works with him every time. Percy? Yeah. What is that? Well, I know what that is. <laughs> Affleck! <laughs> Is that the only thing you can find in the safe? Well, I know. Got me a little change, too. Oh. Ouch. <laughs> you idiot. You stay here with the chickens and I'll go get that money. No looking like you get no CPR. <laughs> that don't work on no KFC Extra Crispy. Trying to get a Minnesota recipe. It's the Marshal! to the most important part of the show. 
We call this the audience participation portion of the program. Percy's on the way up there with the spittoon. You could either spit in it or you could tip in it. Uh, believe it or not, all these actors actually try to do this for a living. Much to the embarrassment of our families. <laughs> We had a lot of fun doing this uh, show for you today, and they do work for tips. So if you like the show, we hope you'll be as generous as you feel comfortable, and it'll be greatly appreciated. If you didn't like the show, be even more generous, and I'll hire me some better actors. <laughs> so it's been a lot of fun putting this on for you for today, and keep this in mind, folks. Without all of you out there, none of this out here would have been necessary. So thanks for coming. If you like photos, you're welcome to come on into the saloon. I'll be glad to do that. All right. Thanks for coming, folks.